Hello my friends, today I'm going to show you how to dismantle completely um, the, the grill from uh, a Mercedes S-Class W126. Um, so it doesn't matter why you want to do it. Uh, maybe that the metal here is damaged, that you want to remove the star, uh, that you need to remove this uh, uh, to change it or paint the, the plastic doesn't matter the reason uh, I will show you how we're gonna do it um, please note that you change the star you don't have to remove the, the grill uh, it's possible to remove it and change it without removing them but as we're gonna remove it anyway uh, I will show you how we're gonna do it as well okay so uh, let's do it right now okay so let's open the bonnet and for the tools we need a pair of pliers uh, normal no need uh, anything fancy and uh, personally I use a ratchet uh, with a tube of 8 millimeter you can use as well uh, a flat spanner um, but you know you have to remove it put it place it back uh, I, I found this a bit easier but uh, anyway up to you okay as long as it's number eight we're rolling okay so let's let's start okay the first thing we have to do is to remove the lever uh, that we use to open the bonnet for this we're gonna use the plier and if you look at the the lever that goes through the grill you will see it's held by a pin um, so with the plier on the outside we just pry it a little bit we push it push it again and as you can see it's coming off I, I'm sorry there's a, <coughs> a contrast with the light you can't see much um, but I will try to show you later and now I with the plier I take it out okay now I've got it now we need to remove the lever so you remove it from the inside and here we go I've got it huh? so this is what we removed and this is the pin okay and in order not to lose it we're just gonna put it back inside the way it should go okay <clears throat> and now let's uh, continue uh, dismantling uh, the grill uh, now as I was telling you that we need uh, a socket like that eh? uh, <clears throat> if as well you got something to make it a bit longer it'll be best okay uh, why because on each side of the of the grill we need to remove um, uh, three three screws and at the top we need to remove four um, <clears throat> now as you will see there are two that are kind of hidden uh, and you will need a long uh, you, you will need an extension like this okay uh, in order to reach it so uh, for the normal one we just remove it uh, we put it like that and and we go for it so what I would uh, advise you to do is to have always something to keep them in order not to lose them okay once you once you have them for instance you see I keep um, all those containers for coffee stuff like that eh? and uh, here we go I use the cap I put them inside that way I never lose them okay so I'm just gonna remove the rest and after that I'll do the long ones okay so I've now removed everything eh? uh, I've kept it in my trusty uh, little uh, box and uh, as you can see the <coughs> the grill is not falling so why it's not falling because there's actually a, a joint between the grill and the bonnet so what happened once uh, if this has been fitted for a long time on your car uh, it will act like a kind of glue you know it'll get stuck over time okay uh, so what we'll have to do is to make a bit of pressure okay as you can see it start removing a little bit okay and we continue like that until it's completely removed. There we go. Et hop là. That's it. We've got it. This is the joint uh, that I was talking about. Huh? Uh, so as you can see, it's kind of uh, stuck. Huh? But it's just with the time. Huh? It's, uh, it's not actually glued or anything. Uh, but with the time, it gets stuck here. Um, so it'll be it'll be nice to actually remove it completely clean it nicely uh, before to put it back okay 
and uh, we now have our grill here that we're gonna dismantle completely uh, so you can see how it uh, how it's fitted together okay we now have the grill at home and uh, I'm gonna uh, dismantle it completely yeah? so as I said before if this is broken you can find a kit if you need to paint it uh, this for instance you can see is completely faded a lot of people change it or if you need to remove the star huh? whatever it, it, it is we I'm gonna show you how to dismantle it completely so let's start with that emblem here uh, this one get uh, we remove it at the back yeah. um, here it's stuck on the on the plastic grill and it's a number eight so again we're gonna use this unfortunately mine broke and I will try to show you uh, uh, this usually happen with the time uh, uh, when something is fitted on the car uh, dry um, it doesn't matter if uh, if it has to stay in you know, a year or something like that but when the car is like 25 or 30 years old obviously um, at some point you got some kind of corrosion a lot of dirt that goes inside and when you try to remove it later puff uh, it, it breaks so now uh, I will have to remove it anyway so anyway let's say that it's not broken uh, once it's removed you just pull it out and it comes out huh? so this is a piece of aluminium uh, if you get a new one uh, very easy to fit you can't get wrong huh? you can't you can't put it any any side uh, there's the middle part and as you can see there's a little bit at the bottom that gets stuck here huh? so uh, once you fit it uh, here we go it gets put in place like that and you put the number eight at the back so here we go this is for that um, we also gonna use our plier that we used before and we're gonna use as well a, a Phillips screwdriver a star screwdriver so now we can remove for instance the the star so again uh, everything is done at the back as you can see here it's uh, fitted by pressure uh, uh, so this uh, in fact this uh, is like an opening and uh, like a rectangular opening and this actually get turned to uh, clip on, on the grill so now we're just gonna put it back vertically and it should come out so we use the plier we grab it here and we pull it towards us and we turn it so you try and put it vertically so sometimes same thing if it's been there for a while here we go it's done if it's been there for a while it could be a bit difficult yeah so now it's done you just put it and it should come out if it doesn't it's because this is not placed properly so i will show you it's out okay so the way it works um as you can see uh, this so it's you see why it was not coming out because this actually is outside a bit huh? this is actually uh fitted properly huh? so make sure you clip it nicely and you won't have a, a problem but what usually happen is uh if it's been like that for a while then obviously you've got corrosion you've got all kind of problems i'm trying to fitting it inside there we go eh? i'm not sure if you can see it now now it's fitted properly eh? and now if i put it inside it should go in see in and out uh, without any problem okay so now that this is removed this is the time to actually put a bit of oil or grease inside because look how hard it is huh? um, so this is always in, in motion uh, when we park the car outside there's always some people that bend it and huh? they find it very amusing I'm not sure why <laughs> so anyway let's uh, let's grease it because if not what will happen uh, later uh, eventually this, that will break yeah? so this is how to remove the star to put it back same thing you put it here you pull it and you twist it and it'll be fitted okay now to remove the plastic parts 
uh, we'll have to remove three screws. Alors, there's one here at the bottom, and two on the inside, one here, and one here, where there's that uh, rubber part. Uh, so that rubber part, don't lose it, because when you close the bonnet, uh, this is to make sure actually it doesn't uh, bang on the, on the headlight. Okay, so I'm removing one of one of them. Uh, you can't get wrong as well. This one is uh, is recessed into the into the grill, and the other one are in the rubber. Okay, remove this one. Then now the last one. And now we're nearly done. We just need to remove some clips that we have here. Now I'm trying to show you. Okay, there's one here, one there, and the last one that's here. So be careful because there are different size. This one is longer and these ones are shorter. Uh, the last one here at the bottom is 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 clipped anyway in the in the plastic bit. Uh, so you can't you can't go wrong with the size. Um, so to remove them you're gonna pry it with um, the plier, grab it here, and you're gonna twist it, and it's coming off, okay? So when I put them on the side, I put them in order, so that way um, I, I, don't, uh, I don't miss the order, okay? So I'm gonna remove all of them now, and uh, I'm gonna come back on this. Okay, I've now removed all the clips on the side, and now, as you can see, the, the plastic bit and the mineral is loose. So, we just remove it, here we go, and now uh, we have the outside, uh, so if you need to change that, uh, uh, it's completely free of anything. Yeah? Uh, if you want to polish it now nicely, that's the time, okay? Now, let's talk a bit about the plastic bit. So very often people dismantle the, the grill, as I said before, um, to do some cosmetic change. Mm -hmm. So for instance, this is very often damaged, yeah, as you can see here. Uh, this one is fine, but it's very tarnished. Um, so it would, would be nice to, to clean it now. Yeah, and this side is not bad. This side, however, is pretty damaged. So the, there are some kits that are, so, that are being sold that you can buy and, and change them eh, if need be. Uh, if you need to remove those, these uh, you slid them into the plastic bit. There you go, see, it comes out. There we go, I'm gonna try to show you. You see this, so that goes inside. And um, this is the back. Eh? Uh, it goes inside, okay. So if you want to do any work on it, huh, you, you just slide them, all of them. And to put them back, uh, what, just to put a bit of oil inside, huh, and, and it will slide very, very nicely. Okay, so uh, some people, what they do, because over time, over the years, because um, it's gray, it gets faded a bit. Uh, it loses its uh, original color. So some people tend to paint it. Uh, I will show you a, a picture right now, and uh, as you can see, it's totally uh, blacked out. Huh? Uh, but some people paint it red or whatever the color of, of the car, just to match it. So up to you, uh, if you want to do it. Uh, I was thinking of doing it, but anyway, uh, this one is broken here, broken there. So I think I will just change that part. Uh, so very often, if you if you need a part as well, if you look, there's very often there's the part number. Like here, one two six eight 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 zero four two three. Okay, so if you need any part, usually the the part number are on the uh, part itself. Okay, so here we go. Uh, now you've got the the grill completely dismantled. I hope uh, this would have taught you something else, and uh, we'll see you on the next video. See ya. Well, my friends, I hope you enjoyed the video that I've shown you and you enjoyed it. Please subscribe to the channel and give me a like. Um, and if you feel like it, you can leave me a comment as well. Well, see you on the next video.